Hey Slayers, and welcome to a long requested title, probably like really long requested. I'm gonna turn that down. And that is Sonic the PSP. Now this game has long been requested, and I really mean long been requested. I get requests for this game all the time, and this is probably the most underrated Sonic game of them all. Even more so than like Sonic Drift and all those Game Gear titles, because at least they're known. At least they are known and like smaller circles, I mean Game Gear circles, and like Master System circles, whereas these, whereas these are rare, are not really that known, like really, I rarely hear about them. It was only in, up until like a couple years ago, maybe 2016 in fact, in fact, which might seem like a long time ago now, but it was in recent memory, I'm sorry about my sinuses, but recent memory, I learned that these games existed, and... We're not going to actually do the story mode, although I didn't get very far in story mode, it just wasn't that interesting to me. But what actually is very interesting is the gameplay. This is a very unique playing title, that's for, that's for sure. This is a very unique title. And I don't know how to describe it as more of like... Really? Did I not get the boost there? I don't know how to describe it as like as like a platform racing game really is the only way I could really describe this game. But it's a very interesting in the and in, in the way it goes about itself. Like I just never really I guess you could say seen anything like this up until I played this game. And I wanted to play it sooner for you guys, but I never had a um, phone that can run PSP up until now. And, yeah, it, it runs a pretty dark. Ignore the 15 frames of the um, corner. It's not really running at 15 frames. What actually happened is I have frame skip on just to make sure because I can have it off, but I'd rather have it locked to a steady, smooth frame rate. So I just that's why it says 15 frames. It's not really 15 frame. 15 frames. Why am I running backwards? There is literally power ups in this game. Okay, you learn some. The more you know, I guess. I just learned about that. Okay. Silver's ahead of me, but this game is super fun. Like honestly, like this is one of those games where, like I said, it's rarely when you play a new game and you get addicted to it. Now I didn't even know these games existed when I was young. Now if you if you know a little bit about me from following my channel, you'll know that I grew up with a Nintendo DS. I wanted a PSP more than anything, but I never ended up getting one, so I wasn't the PSP kid. I was the DS kid. So I never I experienced titles like Sonic Rush Adventure and Sonic Rush and Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. So I the Sonic Rivals titles, like I said, I didn't even know existed. I wasn't a PSP kid. I just was kind of just chilling with my Nintendo DS, which was which was all fine. I had so many great memories with that system. It's it's probably if I'm uh, you could probably credit most of the reason this channel exists today to that system in particular. But Sonic, like I said, and then even then these were there was Sonic Rivals one and two, and there was literally only these games on the PSP. So literally, even though they already didn't stand out well, at least because I never knew about them not only did they not stand out well they just weren't i guess i guess sega really didn't just see much profit in the psp although the psp sold almost basically as well as the ds the ds sold 120 right or 140 and the um the psp sold 80 million so i mean there was a huge install base there so i just i don't oh actually i just won that race i don't understand why sega really didn't look more to the psp market but wow okay i actually always did love how the psp i did have a ps3 i still have a ps3 and i never noticed the psp save menu was like hold on well, well we'll let him get the upper hand first here real quick but yeah like i said the psp was always that one console i always wanted because the ds was essentially a ps1 but the psp was literally a ps2 on the go and who wouldn't want that i mean we're on the ps3 era now if i could get ps2 graphics and gameplay on the go like the ds games were always so much more simpler than the psp the psp had god of war grand theft auto but i mean like i said it was lacking in more of the the sega the sega department so i really wasn't too interested in like psp for sega i wanted psp for more other reasons just because that seemed like the cooler system to have and just all the new beautiful 3d games but i have to say these graphics are awesome and yeah and they're and they're they're so like this is unimaginable this would have been unimaginable on the ds back in the day so i understand why it didn't get like a ds port but maybe i could have seen like a 2d version being made for the ds like but i guess this was supposed to be exclusive to psp but psp as a whole just really 
uh, yeah, sometimes things like that can happen when you get stuck in a loop and all that, and you and the CPU get stuck in a loop. But I mean, like I said, this is a fun game. It is actually fun. You're not on rails. It, it's pretty. It can be pretty challenging. Wow, he kind of cheated there. It also has multiplayer. So uh, now I know for the future. Do not be the person to press those poles. It, uh, it also has multiplayer. But how does this stack up against something like the Sonic Rush titles or the Rush Adventure titles? Well, like I said, I'm kind of partially. I'm partially. Not even partially. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm like 100% biased here. But. In my opinion, I mean, it doesn't stack up as well, like I said, because this is more of a, like, racing game. They were more of, like, platformers. So you really can't compare them in all honesty. But at the same time, I mean, this game definitely would win in graphics, so that's pretty unfair to the DS. But the DS had more titles, so that's unfair to the PSP. So it's just like... I, I can't each be their own, I guess. We can't really compare them. As for the game itself, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and give this a 9 out of 10. Like, a solid, this is a solid game. Like, hold on, this is extremely fun. You have these power-ups, right? That I don't know how to use, and I still don't know how to use them. I guess you, oh, okay. I guess this double Y to use your power-ups. I'm actually, I'm actually winning here. But the courses, like I said, the courses are pretty fun. And this is a kind of a lighter PSP title, so it's most likely to run better on your phone, so or your if or your tablet or whatever you play on. So definitely if you have to emulate this, emulate this because like I said, Sega's probably at the point at this point right now, if I'm really being honest, Sega doesn't care about this game. They don't they never really re-released it on anything else. Even a switch route. <laughs> I think this game would fair and would nice for a Switch release, you know what I'm saying? I actually really like this stage right here, it's based on like, it reminds me a lot of like Casino Night and um, Casino Night and uh, what is it called? Casino Park, there we go, I don't know why I couldn't say Casino Park. I love Casino Park the most and I'm probably going to have that track playing in the background just because I feel like hearing it now. But yeah, this does follow the same sub rules, if you get hit without rings, like I just did there, you're gonna get sent back to the checkpoint, and I'm probably gonna lose this race. So, congratulations, Marvin. I mean, sorry for the little, sorry for the little cut, cut in the video there. You could probably see that. But yeah, like I said, this game is really, this game is really like fun. It is really awesome. Like just honestly, it, nine out of ten, perfectly. I really like this stage, but you can get like, um, you really get destroyed in this game. Like in all honesty, there's, a, there's, okay, so there's Sonic. We're gonna hold on. I'm gonna reset the game, and then we'll. I'm gonna re. Well, no, I don't even have to reset the game. I'll just go back to main menu. We could look at the character selection. So, oh, you can even collect cards, which is cool, I guess. There, in the options, you know, you have summary skins. Skins. What are skins? Oh, you can change the skins of the characters. I guess that's pretty cool. You have the wireless play feature, which I really don't care about. I mean, I like I said, this game does have multiplayer, but I doubt. I doubt anyone has a 2P. I doubt anyone has a copy of this game. Like, I think this game is pretty rare in the Sega universe, probably. I just don't. But, oh, you also have a challenge mode. See, there's Sonic, Knuckles, Shadow, Tails. There's an unlockable character. And if I'm correct, it's Eggman. If I'm correct. So don't quote me on that. If I'm correct, it's Eggman. Yeah, you see, you can change, you can change their outfits. But it might be Tails, the created character. I don't actually know. I'll probably, I might let you know down in the description, but that's going to do it for Sonic Rivals 1. I definitely, definitely recommend you go play this game because it, it is extremely fun. It is a blast. It is a standout, P, uh, it, like I said, it's a hidden gem on the PSP and not enough people know about it. So, if you're, if you've never, if this is your first time hearing of it, if you have a okay phone if you have an okay phone this like i said this is a pretty easy psp title to run i definitely recommend you go check it out but that's gonna do it for this video i've been the world's coolest second enthusiast second player 64 and if you're new here if you could subscribe that would be really awesome it would really make my day trying to still hit 200 subscribers and until next time have a good one slayers.